Welcome to Community Voices with Kari Lissa Thorne. And I have with me today, John Suffren with Lumity. So today we're talking about his organization, Lumity. So welcome, John. Thanks for having me, Carly. So what was your inspiration behind starting Lumity? Well, I started with Lumity uh, uh, roughly 10 months ago. So Lumity was founded 30 years ago, uh, actually by the foundation community to help provide uh, capacity building and support services to the nonprofits across Chicago, across the Chicago uh, region. So we provide uh, technology consulting and uh, strategic advice on connecting to resources within the marketplace, as well as uh, financial services, uh, including bookkeeping and accounting and uh, CFO level audit work to help support uh, the work being done by nonprofits across the eight county Chicago region. And I'd love for you to also share a little bit about who is John. Like, what are some of your passions? And, you know, that obviously was some of your inspiration for starting starting Lumity. Right. So re really, uh, you know, the, the passion is, is all about serving people and, and helping those really less fortunate than myself and, and the majority of the population. Uh, we, uh, I enjoy the work that we do at Lumity because we get to help nonprofits across, across uh, the Chicago region who do things from, you know, uh, uh, public assistance to deliver shelter to homeless folks, uh, to uh, network for charter schools, to energy and efficiency organizations. Uh, there's such a variety of, of work being done in the nonprofit sector. And in my role as uh, VP of Nonprofit Services and Solutions, I get to work with many of those organizations. So the passion is really about, you know, kind of doing good for the greater good uh, of society, sometimes those less fortunate than myself. Um, and really supporting and helping those uh, organizations achieve their individual missions uh, as it relates to helping people. And what would you say is the biggest problem in fundraising? Because I do, I work, I actually do a lot of work in fundraising and in nonprofits, and I actually speak to a lot of nonprofits. And there's a lot of problems these days in fundraising, and a lot of struggle and frustration right. for people in fundraising. So, how would you see Lumini solving some of those problems? So we'll start with the problems first, um, you, or the, uh, the the issues that they're facing. Really, are uh, you know one has been uh, a reliance, uh, a very heavy reliance on government grants, um, and as the government has been uh, has been reducing their workforce uh, themselves and getting smaller with the uh, smaller tax revenues coming into uh, to government. Uh, fewer contracts are going out to vendors who have been providing the services uh, to the populations that I've spoke about. So uh, that's one issue that they have. So fundraising really then comes back to, uh, if I'm not going to get these government grants, where else can I help uh, get funds to uh, to do the work and, and, and achieve our mission within our organization? So then, then it really becomes a data-driven um, issue and in tackling the uh, email lists and campaigns and uh, really tracking data, uh, finding folks who might be willing to give to, the, to our particular cause, uh, sending out the proper marketing uh, information to them on a consistent basis, and then really tracking that, you know, that information uh, through analytics and, uh, and proper data management uh, has been is a big issue. So Lumity really steps in to work with those particular organizations because they are so different. As I have explained uh, previously, Lumity and in my work, I get to work with those organizations on finding the right solutions for them. Sometimes it's a donor management solution, uh, which is really an individual piece of software, uh, and that donor management solution. Uh, you know, really takes a look at all of the stakeholders who are giving money to that organization and managing that information properly. Uh, and then are, others are platforms, and platforms work with multiple stakeholders within the organization, which would include uh, volunteers uh, as well as donors, but could also do additional business development activities for that particular organization. So it's more of a platform that does multiple things, uh, and you see that in a, in a piece of software like Salesforce. So, you, you know, my uh, my work with those organizations is finding the right solutions for them to uh, find the right piece of software that they need uh, in the budget that they have, 
right, to better tackle that issue of communicating uh, and effectively getting the message out about, about the good work that they do. So now for people that aren't really tech savvy, as we know not everybody is, so can you bring that down to a more simpler statement for people that are not tech savvy? So can you, in a, um, take it up with this, in a one sentence, simplify what, uh, or give an example how you might help somebody that needs your services. So uh, Lumity uh, and myself, I'll go out and, and really assess the client's needs. Uh, assess the client's needs to find out exactly what they want and, and really their current state and where their desired state uh, is, right? Um, and finding out where their issues are and finding a solution for them in the marketplace. So we look for the right solution uh, to fit the problem that they have to take them where they want to go. So your company offers several solutions. So one, you might find the software that they may need. You may also need to, you also may go in and say, hey, these are, these are the finances that you may need. And you also do what I might say is creative brainstorming. Would that be correct? Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> because sometimes um, I know how um, I'm very hug up with this astute at sometimes seeing that some people's brains as yours can go sometimes very analytical and then we're on a radio show like this and people are going what did he just say <laughs> so when well, people are very business savvy as you are and and that's your that's your purpose when you go into a company your job is to go in there and go okay you need this you need this you need this and then we're on a radio show and you're going to analytical mode and people are going what did he just say right yeah. Right. So, okay, now, now I'll fire this a little bit. So you go in there and you go, okay, you need this technical solution, you need this financial solution, and now we're going to create a brainstorm. So I wanted yeah. to kind of, you know, simplify it a little bit. <laughs> okay. Sure. So, um, so that's a little simplification. And so what are some things that possibly that your company may need? Because I'm always wanting to put that out there as well because I also like to – uh, how not just cross market, but also put out there. I also like to maybe find collaborations for people. So, what are some of the things that you look for in partnerships with companies? That's a great question. So, interestingly enough, Lumity is a nonprofit itself. Um, so, we uh, have many of the same issues that uh, you know some of our clients face or have had those same issues. So. Obviously, big donors uh, are one of the things that we would love to have because one of the things that uh, that can help us in our efforts, right, is to have someone who's interested. Many organizations, both the corporate partners uh, as well as private donors, uh, they don't know who to give to, and by providing uh, a donation to Lumity, uh, we can help you know ten or twelve organizations with that particular donation. Uh, versus just giving that to one one entity but not the other ten, right? So uh, because we're a capacity builder and supporting organizations in so many different ways, um, donations are always you know wonderful to get, um, and many corporations are looking to connect with the community. Uh, and this by by working with Lumity, it gives them a broad way to connect with many uh, multiple uh, community-based organizations um, in the in the geographic region, uh, not just one. And added bonus, when a company donates to a nonprofit, they also get a tax break. That's correct. I always like to point that out as well. <laughs> I so, didn't want to go anal analytical and business side. <laughs> I did want to throw that in. It's always an added bonus incentive for a company to donate That's right. to a wonderful That's service like yours. Absolutely. So is there anything else that you would like to put out there to the community that is something that you could offer to a community that your services can provide? Well, we've uh, uh, started a, a new partnership with an organization called Donor Path, and this is really targeted to the smaller uh, nonprofits uh, in the marketplace. Uh, but it is a, a nationwide product, so it's a virtual product. Uh, Donor Path provides online uh, fundraising assistance uh, to small and uh, medium-sized nonprofits. Sometimes those that can't afford to purchase the, the software itself, but one of the to a software uh, package itself. But one of the unique things about DonorPath, it's all online. Uh, all of your information can be uploaded into their system and provide re it provides reports directly back to the organization on the effectiveness. So it's basically an online 
uh, online software solution SaaS model. That's a software as a service, uh, not to get too techy, uh, but that service is is regularly $199 a month. So most small uh, nonprofit organizations have the ability to access that in their budgets. Um, that information, in addition to kind of tracking some of the data, is also uh, provides online fundraising coaches. So they'll have a coach to work with um, for that $199 fee, in addition to tracking and managing all the data. So these folks are proven development and fundraising professionals that uh, nonprofit organizations can look to for assistance. Um, and then for the next three months, uh, we're actually offering that free to, to those nonprofits so that they can come into the software uh, and take a look around, right, and see if it works for them, use it for free for three months. It's part of something we're calling the, the Fundraising uh, Readiness Project. Um, and we're kicking it off this Friday at uh, Chicago Tech Week at the Merchandise Mart. Um, Governor Quinn is going to be there to help launch the uh, initiative within Illinois. But again, it's available to any nonprofit that wants to come to Lumity's page um, and find, uh, uh, you'll be able to find access at www.lumity.org or you can go to uh, donorpath.com and find the information uh, on how to become uh, a partner through that, uh, through DonorPath's uh, software. And donor as in D O N O R P A. Yeah. Okay. P A P A T H. Correct. Okay. So um, this is also a podcast. So I would love for you to actually again say who you are and say the website once again. And also, let's clarify what date we're talking about. When you say this Friday, ah. let's clarify what this Friday is. Uh -huh. Aha. That's a good point. Now, so Friday would be, uh, the, so. Uh, this is John Suffern with Lumity, right? And uh, we can find us at lumity.org. That's L-U-M-I-T-Y.org, and we are launching a uh, an initiative with uh, DonorPath.com, D-O-N-O-R-P-A-T-H.com, and that initiative is called the Fundraising Readiness Project, which is being launched this Friday at Chicago Tech Week, and this Friday is June 27th um, at the Merchandise Mart, but uh, the, there is more information available at our website at lumity.org or through donorpath.com. Thank you so much, John, for joining me. It's been an absolute delight. It was also amazing to uh, just find out much more about your organization. I will be putting together a wonderful blog post which will have all of your links and all of your information, which will have, also have the embedded video as well as the embedded podcast. And it's just been absolutely amazing having you. Thank you so much for taking out of your busy schedule time to spend with me. I really appreciate it. Oh, I love the invite. Thanks so much. It was my pleasure to be here. Thanks, Carly. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining us. I look forward to bringing you more valuable content next week. You've been with your host, Carly Lissa Thorne. You can always find me at carlylissathorne.com, C-A-R-L-Y-A-L-Y-S-S-A-T-H-O-R-N-E.com. I wish everyone a wonderful evening, and I look forward to seeing you next week. Enjoy.